Hey everyone, Leo here, bringing you another um, article that I think it will help. It can help small businesses, um, small local businesses in the area, right? Either if you are in Solano County area, San Francisco Bay Area, Sacramento, you have a brick and mortar business, or you um, you provide services within a specific zip code, area, city. Um, then I think this could help a lot. This is an article that I found on Thrive.com. Thrive is basically a system that uh, provides a, um, a lot of different marketing tools for small businesses. Um, you can definitely visit Thrive.com. I'm not associated with them, but they do provide great articles to help small businesses. And this is in regards, think you don't need to claim your online listings. And here are five reasons you should, right? They're gonna go over five reasons why you should. So if that's something that interests you, um, that you've been looking at, um, uh, you know, on taking control of your online listing, or you'll be having complaints about uh, clients finding your the wrong information about your business, or clients not be able to find your information about your business, then perhaps um, uh, this is something that's gonna help. Um, let's see what it says here. It looks like the article was, re was written by Angelica Navarro. All right, so credits to Angelica Navarro. Uh, she says over here, online listing exists beyond the big boys like Google, Yelp, and Yahoo. Uh, what she means by that is that um, there's, there's way more sites uh, that will help with business online listing than just those. For example, you have your yellow, page, yellow pages um, and so many others, right? One thing I would recommend is... I. I shared this before. Um, there's a website called widespark.ca, I think it's called. Widespark.ca. This is a good research if you want to know kind of what uh, some good sites are for your business, for your industry. So if you go to here, you go to resources, um, you can go down to. Um, Best citation sources by categories. And then you can choose the country, for example, let's say United States. And from there, um, you can see this drop down menu here, and you can choose a category depending on the industry that you are. Um, and once you do that, you right, you once you list a category over here on this side, it, it will come up with the uh, best size for those. For example, here I have best size for accountants. Agricultural services, and as you can see, accounts for example, for example, you have Yelp, Yellow Pages, Yelp, Thumbtack, uh, BBB, Best Bureau of Business, Manta.com, and just list. So, as you can see, there's way more um, sites than these three, right? The big ones Google, Yelp, and Yahoo. Um, there are hundreds of online listings, like I just showed you, sites out there that publishes the polish business information for consumers to find. Typically, your business. You, bis you submit your business information to the site and they publish it for you, right? So for example, if you were um, finding, trying to find a way, okay, how do I get my, my business on the Google Maps, Leo, right? If you don't have it yet. Um, the first thing I would recommend you is um, do a search of, for your business. So let's say, for example, I wanna go look for Chango Chamoy, which is a local uh, ice cream place here, local. Mexican ice cream place in Fairfield, and um, I do that, right? I want to do a search for my business first. And the reason why you want to do this is because um, there are people that will, there, these are things that anybody can create for you, right? Let's say some, uh, you have bad customers that just want to talk smack about you and all they know is about providing a review on Google, they will go and set up a profile for your business. Um, if there are customers that love your place and they want to share the information, they will go and set up profiles as well, um, just so that they can go and express their emotions, right? Um, so the first thing you should get and you should do is um, do a search for your business on that review site where you want to check out how your business is listed or uh, where you want to create your profile. So do that first. Um, Typically, you should be your business information to the site, and they publish it for you. So yeah, once you do that, uh, you know you go through the setup with Google, and they, they publish it for, publish it for you. And the same thing with Yelp and all the other ones, Facebook, right? You all you have to do is create your business page, 
and Facebook will create that and publish it. Um, what you might not know is your business information may already be published in an online listing site without your knowledge or say so. This is what I meant earlier, right? That somebody, if you think you don't have an, uh, a business a listing on a specific site, make sure to search for it, for it first because without you knowing, somebody else could already create one for you. So it says over here, are you scratching your head wondering how that happens? Well, it comes from lots of different sources, according to the um, author of this article. Consumers that consumers is one, right? The example that I gave earlier that consumers that want to provide good reviews or bad review are um, the most common ones. How, where, who will go and create a profile without you knowing? Um, data mining firms um, and even other listing sites submit business information to be published online every day. For example, I believe MapQuest does this and as well Yelp. They take information from Yelp um, based from, yeah, yeah. So they, they will take information about a business from Yelp. Um, and I think Yahoo does that as well. There's many sites. So, right. So what it's saying over here, even other listing sites submit business information to be published online every day. So, right, Yelp may publish that information to other sites or other sites may get that information from Yelp, for example. Uh, it says over here, Dane, maybe you're thinking if my business information is already showing up online, why do I need to claim my listing? I don't have time to do all to do all that. And that's a very fair question, right? But is, is, it, is it even more fair what's coming up here? Uh, let's see. Here's a tip. As a business owner, taking responsibility for your online presence has a huge impact on your ability to get found. Part of taking that responsibility involves claiming your listings, and here are five extremely good reasons to do it. Uh, I'm sure probably if you um, have your phone number listed somewhere or you have somebody come in and make you a sign to list the business name or to, to um, somebody design something for you to, you know, to have on your store about your business hours, your phone number, if that any of that information is, is incorrect, I'm sure you will react uh, as soon as possible to get that corrected because you cannot have people coming into your store and see the wrong information like the wrong business hours or the wrong phone number or the wrong name on, on your store. Well, similar things happen online, right? You want to keep the same approach online because that's basically a, another way uh, another front store for your business, essentially, right? And and so, I don't know how will you feel as a business owner. Um, this, obviously, it basically give out the bad impression, right? To have your business listed um, so, uh, you know, all confusing uh, off, uh, in your store. Well, the same reaction happens online. Have your business information all confusing or bad. Um, so here it says, here are five extremely good reasons to do it. Number one, it gives you more control over what is published online. Definitely, right? It gives you control because like I said before, um, there are various sources, sources that, various sources that push your information out to online business. And there's also, you know, clients that may, or consumers that may push information out. And of course, information may be wrong. Um, so that's why you want to have control over what is being published. Published, so you can approve it, control it, correct it if needed. Um, it says over here, but how much is of it is accurate? That's the important question because the last thing you want is wrong information polluting your online listings. This problem is way more common than you think. It says over here, so it happens a lot, and I see that a lot as well. I don't know how many, how many, how many. Um, um, reviews like those I go through the week, right? For example, I use something called yex.com. Um, and I just, and if I see a business there, I typically go and put their information here and their phone number just to see, uh, right. How is that business doing? How is that business showing up online and provide some feedback if, if, if I'm able to do it. Right. And it happens a lot where the information is, is usually typically wrong. And, Bear in mind, um, 
Yex will provide a list of, of many, many different websites. So don't get overwhelmed by the number of websites they are coming up with because you cannot have it listed perfectly everywhere, but at least concentrate on those specific size where you feel your business can benefit the most or out of and and at least keep those in in line i said if it's over here if the information getting pushed out contains an outdated address for number and all business name uh that's bad news i think you would agree with that right if if the business um listing is coming out with outdated address well that means that most people that some people may may miss the new address and they may end up going at the old, the old address causing confusion and bad customer experience they may end up just going to your uh, competitor that was around the corner because that's what they found uh having your phone number listed wrong um the old business name imagine if you purchased the business from somebody else you took over the business and the uh, old business name still showing up and you t spend all this time to change the brand on the business, the sign, change the, um, um, the menu, uh, ch you know, take the, change your marketing, your, your printed media marketing. You spend all that time and money and then your online listing still coming up with the old business name, right? That's just basically bad news as it says over here. So that's why it's important that you need to claim your online listing to exert more control over what information gets published. Then you can spot inaccuracies and fix them accordingly. Okay, here's a quick example. So um, there's this business over here, uh, Nitumas Brothers, Nitumas Brothers, Brothers Pest Control. Uh, so this is a small business owner that had a lot of experience with um, and the pest control industry. And then about a year ago, he decided to go on his own, right? So he has all this accumulated experience. He decided, okay, let me go on my own. Um, but then he saw that he could um, go for bigger contracts, but he felt that because he didn't have uh, an online presence established, when people, companies will go and search about his business, nothing was coming up online. That didn't even give him the, um, confidence to say yes my company it's it's worth it or my company has uh deserves to go and ask for a bid on that big company right and and get bigger contracts because he has all this experience before and he was equipped he know how to run it but the the only fact that he didn't have an online presence um he was feeling like he needed to push back in, in reference to going for those big contracts uh, simply because he didn't look professional enough. So uh, this is a company that didn't have no um, presence at all. And just, you know, just by basically, um, just by basically taking control of all these review sites and creating them, um, look at what happens now, right? If somebody researched into my brother's pest control, um, you know, other big companies that are looking for services are going to be okay. This company is legit. Yes, let's go ahead and and, and you know set up a meeting and 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 um, go through the bid and see if we want to um, you know do business with them. You can see there's a lot of different listing and they have their own Google listing, uh, Manta, Yelp, and that's sort of the things that uh, why you want to control your uh, what is being published, right? Because all of this that we have here. Uh, we basically have control of uh, what is listed, and if there's any information that changes, we can simply go and update the information as needed. So that's the number one reason why you want to have control of your business listing. Number two reason, according to this, is you can respond to customers' reviews. Um, this is a very important. Um, there's business owners that I work with that. Um, it's a stress for them to um, deal with all what people are saying online, yet it, they know that it's important, right? Um, they have a lot already going on offline at their own store um, to come up and, 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 you know, every now and then, obviously not every business is perfect. There will be a bad review and they have to, you know, it, it's, it's very important to take to to respond to it in some way especially if it's a, a, a good feedback 
Now, as a business owner, you're already stressed out from uh, running the, uh, the business all day. Um, but at the same time, right, uh, you may need to find help if you are, you know, if you are not able to keep up with the technology or you are already over your head in stress, uh, you might need to find some help with somebody helping you monitor that and get back to those. Um, and I will even recommend that to seek for help because a lot of us as a business owners, we are emotional about our business. And if somebody, somebody tells us something bad about it, we might take it the wrong way where, in fact, we should be stepping back uh, and, and, and thinking about it, hmm, why did that, why is that person commenting this, right? Where can we improve, um, in reference to what they're saying, especially if there's a pattern, if there's a, a lot of people saying, okay, the food is too salty, the food is too salty, the food is too salty. Uh, that's something that we definitely need to take it, pay attention to, because if more than one person says it, then there's some, some truth to it, right? Something there that is failing in a process to catch why, uh, a specific meal is coming up with a lot of salt um, for most clients or for a number of clients. So respond to customer reviews. All our reviews are source subject depending on who you ask. Even businesses that typically get glowing reviews can cannot please everyone at all the time. There are always consumers who leave on favorite or flat out inaccuracies reviews, inaccurate reviews just because they can. When this happens, it can leave you feeling helpless. That's the example that I was giving, right? The, the, the business owner that I work with um, could have a great day and everything could be going good, you know, they perhaps you have great sales for that day and all it takes is for one bad review at the end of the day to come and make them feel helpless. But no matter what, it's important to monitor and get back to those customers. Uh, uh, well, I'm not saying everybody, right? Because some may just leave one star review and no word title. What can you say to that? Or um, some may just say, um, you know, bad food and one star review. What, what, there's not much you can say to that, right? Perhaps you can offer uh, a way for them to communicate with you and see if they want to provide uh, uh, more feedback uh, in a one on one, right? And leave your number, etc. But um, yeah, there, there are some situations that <laughs> there's not much you can answer to. Um, so this actually highlights the need to claim your online listings because that's how you can respond to these reviews. If a cus customer sees negative reviews on your online listings and notices you're not responding, it gives the impression you don't care if someone has had a bad experience. Plus, this has been really helpful to us uh, with the businesses that I work with, uh, usually small local businesses here in the Solano County area has been Hispanic business, restaurant business. And that has helped us to identify how to improve our services. Um, uh, so, for example, there was a, not to improve our services, but also get to know our customers. There was a one time that I, uh, there was a review about um, uh, a menudo, one of the places that I work with, right? And menudo is... Uh, Try it, uh, a, a, a typical Mexican uh, soup in Salvadorian as well, in other countries in Central America, where um, and a lot of people, you know, are very used to eating during the weekend. And so this person leaves about three star reviews, I believe it was, uh, or four star reviews, mostly because that person didn't feel that um, uh, it was spicy enough, but. The comment, the way the comment uh, was left, um, I, I want to get clarification. Do you mean that it wasn't, it, I think the comment was, it wasn't too hot enough for them, right? So I wanted to make sure I replied to that person and asked, it wasn't hot, do you mean it wasn't hot based on uh, spice, being spicy or, or being warm enough? And obviously the person came back and replied, I was referring about being spicy, maybe perhaps next time I can ask for jalapenos, for example, and then I, I reply, well, thank you for your feedback, that helped us uh, understand, right, what we're trying to say, we want to be sure, obviously, it's much more different if this food is not warm enough compared to not spicy enough, um, also, at the same time, I recommend it, right, are you aware of this um, chili powder that usually goes into the menudo, have you tried it, do you like it, um, and so that basically, he came back and reply. um, you know, thank you for the recommendation. That's something that I totally forgot. And I, yes, I do love that spicy powder. Um, 
on the menudo. So that's something that I will keep in mind for next time. So, you know, it gives good, good, it takes, it helps us respond to customers, get to know them, um, g- give us great feedback on, because there's a, some people that leave only feedback. And obviously it helps us to um, thank them uh, to those that leave great reviews for us and that love us, right? And so you, we just basically continue to reinforce um, the great customer experience by responding to those customers. Number three here, in reference to uh, reasons why we should um, uh, claim or online listings. Reason number three is it establishes trust with search engines. Um, it says here, let's piggyback off the last point for a moment. You've already read about the importance of building a good reputation with consumers by responding to reviews, but there's another entity you need to get in good graces with, online search engines. And online search engines basically is Google, right? So one way that this is saying that establishing trust with search engines is that, for example, Google or Yahoo or Bing, those are very popular search engines, um, they grab information from other sites that are very influential to them, right? So um, if I just have a listing on, on Google, um, that's one place. But let's say I have a, a good listing on Yelp, uh, on Facebook, and other ones. Let's say this is a restaurant, right? And let's say Foursquare and some other ones, right? Um, then all those uh, having the same information just basically reinforce to Google, okay, All these sites have the same information that tells me the information that we have in our Google account as well. It matches all those. So yes, this is the um, best um, results for this type of business that we're looking, that this person is trying to look right there. This is more likely that the correct business they're trying to uh, find and bring bring up the result about your business. So it establishes trust with the search engine. It says over here, you want to show up higher in search results, right? Well, to do that, you need to establish a level of trust with search engines like Google. If you have incomplete or inaccurate online listing, it damages that trust. Um, So, again, right, not having some of these listings over here with the correct information may damage that trust with Google and perhaps um, your business may not even come up if that continues to happen. Um, the higher your business shows in the search results, the more likely the customers are will see it because 75% of users don't scroll past the page one of search results. You'll want to have February ranking, uh, keep your business information consistent, helps you get there. But you need to claim your online listings first so you can get the information in sync. Uh, reason number four why we want to claim our online listings is you're directing more traffic to your website. Okay, so among the fields you can fill out when you claim an updated an update on online listing is the website field. If you have a website and you should, make sure you link to it. This basically allows you to promote it for free. Who doesn't want that? That's very true, right? You have all this listing over here on uh, on Google. I, can, I have a button there for website, my website, and so people can uh, go to my website. On Yelp, there's a button there for a website, and so people will go to a website. Facebook, same thing. Um, this is our website, and MapQuest, and Foursquare, and local Yahoo, and all the and on and on, right, and so on. So what happens is the benefits that we get is that... Um, the benefit that we get is that this, this, um, uh, all those sites having our website information uh, basically just continue to send people to our website, right? And the beauty about that is that um, if you are at a point where you are advertising online, right? You, let's say you are able to afford advertising on Facebook or Google or, or YouTube. Uh, well, what happens is we can set up at that point what is called cooking. Uh, 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 cookie trackings or pixel codes or whatever, right? You basically have uh, Facebook or Google tracking who visits the website. And at that point, what we can do is something that's called remarketing, meaning we can continue to follow those um, visitors um, to, or, or on the internet with different offers that we may have going on or with different updates, uh, etc. So 
directing more traffic to our website. That's another benefit of having our, our online listed claim, online listing claim. Uh, and the reason number five is the majority of these sites are free, right? You are allowed to have the majority of uh, um, a, a lot of these websites over here, right? They are free where you can have your business listing. Imagine having banners, tons of banners or, or flyers uh, around town and being for free. So it's essentially that. Um, it says over here, yes, you read right. You don't have to pay most directory sites to simply claim or add your online listings. For more sites, you'll simply submit your information in an online form. Some will take steps to verify your business to make sure it's legit. A few may take longer than others to verify, but it's worth the wait. And like I say, you don't have to stress out yourself with uh, completing all these businesses, right? You can do a few at a time, but at least focus on some that could be very important to your industry and, and go with those and then just manage it, right? And, and then it all depends how much time you have. And, you know, if you only, all you can do is five, then do five. If, if you can do 10, then do 10, but you don't need that many really. Uh, it says over here, claiming your online listing takes far less time than it does to correct inaccurate information later on. If you haven't already done so, start claiming your listing so you can get the most out of them. Your online presence is an extension of your business and it's a good idea to make sure it represents you well. So I hope this information was very helpful to you. Um, if you, for some reason, find this helpful, uh, let me know. Uh, let me know if you have any more questions about any of the, the specifics that we touch over here. Uh, that will help me to learn more about it as well, right? That will help me to go and test different things uh, with your questions and obviously either help new businesses in my area or continue to help the businesses that I already work with and even help you, right, if I am able to answer the questions that you may have. Now, if you are a small business owner that you can think of another reason why it's important to claim your business, your online listing, please let us know, share with the community, right, um, that's always helpful. Um, another bonus that I have, or a bonus I have, is that if you are a small business owner and you always and you having issues with um, listings, your online listings, meaning uh, customers complaining that they see the wrong information about your business, or that they cannot find it, or it's hard to find it, or instead of finding your information, they find your competitor's information. If you're having those issues, come to my website here, digitaltrack.co forward slash scan my business. And what I'm doing is I'm providing a free report. All I will need you is when you come here, fill out the information, right? And then when you click on the button, what's gonna, what's gonna happen, that's gonna send me an email with your information that you submitted. And so I will take that information, I put a report together, an analysis, and then I will. I need to contact you back to go over the report. What does it mean, right? What is causing those issues? And then uh, also at the same time, I'll be provide be able to provide you some um, recommendations of what can be done to fix those issues. All right. So hope that it helps you. Um, if you think that can help, let me know. Just submit the paperwork again, digitaltrack.co forward slash scan my business. And if you're interested to um, stay connected, to see more videos, view more videos like this, let me know. Um, you can come to my website, digitaltrack.co, and you can you know send me a text or call me, send me an email. Let me know that you want to um, talk to me some more or that you want to uh, want me to add you to the newsletter to continue sending you uh, more videos like this. Uh, here are my social media in case you want to follow me and see what I'm up to or what new content I'm, I'm releasing. Um, but again, hope that information was helpful. All right. Have a good one. Bye.